Hey guys, how's everyone doing tonight? I'm uh, just here to answer some of your questions because so many people have asked me the same questions. I just kind of wanted to uh, make this video instead of answering each of them individually because sometimes that can take a really, really long time. And sometimes I'm going back and forth, back and forth with them. So I thought it would be a little bit more informative, a little bit more helpful to more people that might have the same questions that just have not written me yet. So the first one is um, from Sandra. She wants to know what she can do to make her hair thicker and stronger. Well, I recommend scalp massage and vitamins. Now, uh, the vitamins that I'm taking right now is a hair, skin, and nail vitamin. You can take biotin for hair growth, just straight biotin. But the vitamins I'm taking, it uh, contains a lot of biotin. But um, I'll show you what I'm using. It's from Applied Nutrition. And this is it right here. And I picked this up because um, it came highly recommended from Glamour magazine. Um, they did a feature on it and it's supposed to be really good. There was very, very good reviews and apparently uh, a lot of women saw results. So I've been taking it for about two weeks now and I really have no complaints. It um, It's for hair, skin, and nails. So it has it has a really good amount of biotin in it. It has 833%. Um, so that's really good. I've looked at a few other brands as well and they didn't have half as much. So I really liked it because it had a lot of it in it. And you know, it's really important for hair growth. So you definitely want to take your vitamins for sure. So that's one. Now the second is scalp massage. It works really, really well. Scalp massage is proven to stimulate your scalp and regrow hair. Now, um, let's see. Kayla asked, what can I do to keep my hair growing? Because she says her hair stops growing at a certain length. Well, I sort of had that problem too for a while until I started um, doing a scalp massage. So Sandra and Kayla have similar questions, so I'm going to kind of answer that together. So same thing, take the vitamins, that's one. Now the second thing is to do the scalp massage. Now onion juice has been proven to regrow hair. It's funky. It's going to smell. It's going to smell pretty bad. <laughs> so you're probably not going to want to do it when you're, you know, trying to go out or something. Maybe do it if you're going to stay in for like an entire day. If you have a juicer, juice the onion that way. If you do not, you need to get a mortar and a pestle and just grind it up in there. Really, really, really good. And then you'll put it like in a muslin. Um, that's the cloth that you can get from Sally Beauty Supply that you use to wax with. That you can use to um, put the crushed up or the mushed up onions in there and then you can squeeze it and just get all the juice out in a cup. I mean any kind of cloth would work that um, even like cotton, like a wife beater, it works pretty good actually. So you can try that. Um, but you can't use anything like silk or you know anything like that obviously. You need something that's breathable that the liquids can get through pretty good. So like a wife beater is pretty good material for that too, but I'll get the muslin because that works the best. So you'll juice the onion or you'll use the mortar and pestle, mush it up really, really good, and uh, use the onion juice to you know rub into your scalp. Like you will massage really, 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 really well into your scalp. You're gonna need to do it all over and you might need to section off your hair too. Like you might need to part it and you know, just with each part, you're gonna wanna put the juice straight down the line and just massage it straight in. So you definitely, um, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's more than worth it. So the onion juice is one. Now the second one is um, to make your own hair growth oil with coconut oil and rosemary oil. Um, I prefer that method because you can store the oils and uh, keep it you know, right in your nightstand or whatever, and uh, use that every night. But with the onion juice, you have to make that all the time, like every single time you want to use it. So it's kind of a pain in the butt, but you know, I mean, it works as well. So what I do is um, I buy one of these plastic containers from Walmart, and uh, the really cool thing about this one is, is like you don't even have to open it, you know, to use it. It has a flip top, which is very convenient for oils. So you'll make your oil in something like this and you'll just use the flip top 
and then you can always just you know squeeze the oil into your scalp just like that and massage it in or squeeze it on your fingertips and massage it in now uh, I will do the either jojoba castor oil or coconut oil with the rosemary oil you can use any three of them any one of the three of those oils um, the castor jojoba or rosemary now you will use about three drops of the rosemary oil for every two ounces of the carrier oil which is the jojoba coconuts or uh, castor oil so uh, that's a good um it, it's a pretty good recipe you know of course you'll increase it as you need it use as much as you need um, do enough to fill up a bottle like this so you don't have to make it constantly you know so that's proven and I've actually been using that to regrow my eyebrows. You guys probably can't even see, obviously, from there, but I've had big problems with my eyebrows because I plucked so much of it in high school. Like one time, I plucked this entire front section out right here, and it looks so weird, and I thought it looked good back then, believe it or not. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, I was looking back at some pictures, and I just wanted to just cover my face. I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh my god, I went to the mall like this and we took pictures in a booth and we thought we looked cute. Where are my eyebrows? I mean, it looked freaky. Like, this whole entire part was gone. And it was just like from here down. I did some crazy things to myself in high school, let me tell you. Um, and then I did like this super, super thin, you know, where I was like, oh my god. And now, and then I pierced my eyebrow too in high school right here. And then, you know, after I took it out, there was a spot where the hair just no longer grows. And I regret that big time because I didn't know my hair was not going to grow back. So, um, I'm using the rosemary and coconut oil on my scalp as well as my eyebrow. And I'm seeing results. And I have never seen this good results with anything else. The results are amazing so far. I actually have like a really good patch right here growing in pretty good. And I've tried to regrow my eyebrows a few times and I just, it just totally failed. It was a complete fail. I was like, this is not working. It's patchy. There's little bits here, little tiny bits there, but it's actually growing in fuller and it's working so well. So if you need to regrow your eyebrows back, have faith, you'll, this will work for you. Um, so let me get to Anissa's question. In another video, I will actually create the recipes for you guys, but I just wanted to um, answer your questions really, really quickly. So let me get to Anissa's question. She wants a good clarifying shampoo or a good clarifying treatment because she decided to stop using products, which is awesome. I'm helping her with that. So I'm so happy because I don't use a thing in my hair but conditioner. Um, so anyways, here's a good one. I don't know if you guys can hope you can see it. It's Ion Purifying Solutions. It helps eliminate mineral buildup from heart and well water. And it's 100% vegan, which I really, really love. It's from Sally Beauty Supply. And it was $6.49. So I used this and the conditioner. My conditioner is actually out. So that's why I'm only showing you the shampoo. So this works really, really well. Or you can use the baking soda um, recipe that I talked about on my page just a few days ago. Just mix equal parts baking soda with water. Like if you use like five teaspoons of baking soda, then you use five teaspoons of water. You know what I mean? But you'll want to use, you want to make like a pretty good amount. You can make it and store it and just shake it up each time and just kind of pour it on your scalp and massage. And like you, you know, once again, you want to massage really, really good from the front all the way from the front. It's very important to the middle, down to the end, down to the end, all the way to the back. So you're, it's very, very important that you massage every single part of your scalp, whether you're massaging with oils or you're doing a clarifying treatment with the baking soda. The scalp massage is very, very, very important. So there you go. Those are the questions I'm answering tonight, and I will be back with the recipes for you guys. Um, you know, I'll make them so you can see for the oils and so on. So if you guys have any more questions, which I know you do, and I love answering your questions, just drop me a line or two and I'll be more than happy to answer. And I do have more questions to answer and I'll be making more Q&A videos. So I hope you guys liked it and uh, I'll see you guys really soon tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.